Örmətli xanımlar və cənablar, indi isə kişilər arasında 46-49 kg yüngül çəki dərəcəsində final görüşü izləyək. Hakimlər yətini sizlərə təqdim edirik. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the final of the men's 46-49 kg light flyweight. All the judge, People Republic of China, Philippines, Slovakia, Ecuador and Turkey. Please welcome the boxer to the red corner representing Ireland. What a moment for young Brendan Irvin, just 19 years of age, competing in the biggest tournament of his Olympic Baroque boxing career to date, his Olympic style boxing career. Here he is, the gold medal bout, words of encouragement from his coach, Billy Walsh. Here's the man who's also gunning for top spot on the medal podium. Three year old battle. Sagaliev. Pocket rocket of a boxer. Just as terrifically quick feet. This one promises to be a really explosive affair between two highly skillful boxers. Contrasting physiques, contrasting styles. It's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Let me introduce the boxers. Ringing in the second bed, the box in the red corner, representing Ireland, Brendan Irvine. On on Regibe, Ringing in the second bed, his opponent, the box in the blue corner, representing Russian Federation, Batar Sagaluye. And the referee of this bout is Mr. Marius Gorny from Poland. Oh. Round, round one. The opening bell sounds in this light, kilo, light flyweight 49 kilogram final between boxes from Ireland and Russia. The boxer in red on the front foot is 19-year-old Brendan Irvin, the reigning Irish national champion. And he has had a terrific run to this gold medal bout, including eliminating the number one seed, the boxer in blue, who is on the front foot and has just scored with a good left hand to the solar plexus, is Bator Sagaluyev, 23 years of age, and he eliminated the number two seed at the quarterfinal stage. So two seed slayers in operation here. That gives you an idea of their ability and their mindset. No respecters of reputations. Both of them appearing full of fizz and energy in this gold medal bout. Hallelujah. Diminutive little boxer just... 157 centimeters as opposed to the 165 of Irvin, and he makes himself even smaller. Sagaluyev by spreading his legs wide, crouching down low, presenting a very difficult target to tag cleanly. But what he does possess is terrifically quick feet, as evidenced there. So he closes the gap very well indeed. And despite invariably being the shorter boxer in his bouts, he often lands well and scores well with straight shots. That's a cracking left uppercut from Sagaluyev. Right onto the point of Irvin's chin and then a right cross followed through as well. Sagaluyev finding his range immediately in the first half of this opening round. Terrific punches landed. Irvin getting inside and turning uppercuts underneath. Good right jab once again by Sagaluyev. And again, it's the straight shot which is successful, despite him conceding several inches in height and reach. Good 
left hand by Stagaluyev once again. They have been looking for openings, trying to counter, but look at how that right hand went over the top of Stagaluyev's head. Very tricky target to nail cleanly. Good left hand, and then a right hand success once again by Stagaluyev. A roaring little pocket dynamo. Really does score effectively. With raiding attacks. Built off the foundation of fantastic footwork. Quick feet, close the distance, then good hand speed as well to land the punches home. Good counter left hand by Irvin. Competitive opening round of boxing. Irvin has showed the ability to come back after conceding the opening round. That's what he did against tournament number one seed, Salman. Leaves it up from Azerbaijan. That's an example. A straight shot success enjoyed. That was a cracking left hand by the man in blue. Russian boxer has taken the opening round across the board. All three judges scoring in his favor. Irvin is going to have to dig deep once again. So we move into the second round of this 49 kilogram light flyweight gold medal bout. Brendan Irvin, as he's had to do previously in this tournament, is going to have to overturn a one round deficit, there's a good right le and left, but then Saga Sagaluyev firing back, getting picked off as he's coming in by a good right hand from Irvin. Irvin covering up well, but look at the incessant attack from Sagaluyev. Irvin was forced to cover up, he did have some effective counter punching success, but wave after wave of punch coming from the man in blue. Again, good defense from Irvin, tucking up and repelling that shot with his right glove. Irvin on the front foot, backing his man into the corner, scoring effectively with lefts and rights. Sagaluyev knowing that he's a roundup because that's public knowledge as Irvin scores with a good right hand down the middle then turns it underneath. Left hook success for the Irishman as well. Sagaluyev now meeting him head on in the trenches. Both boxers trying to work away. Irvin, despite that long reach he possesses, that big lean frame, has proved himself to be especially effective at inside work. Got through the cracking right hand just a few moments ago, did Irvin. And again, there are the hooks and uppercuts in evidence. Despite those long arms, able to shorten his punches very well indeed, as he has done throughout the tournament. Brendan Irvin, the reigning six-time national champion of Ireland, taken consecutive titles ranging from schoolboy up to senior from 2010 to 2015 good one-two combination by Sagaluyev and this is a terrific second round between two committed boxers good left hand by Irvin right hand was straight down the middle Sagaluyev got himself out of harm's way by changing the angle then had his own success Terrific pressure being applied by Irving, driving Sagaluyev backwards. Sagaluyev comes back with a couple of eye-catching shots of his own, but terrific pressure being applied in sustained fashion by Irving. Time and again throughout the course of this tournament, he has dug deep, cracking left hand from Sagaluyev. Irving looking for the uppercut underneath once again. Sagaluyev planting his feet in the canvas, changes angle wonderfully and tries to tag Irvin, but he repelled the shots well by holding his hands up high. We're just having to remind the boxers about the dangers of leaning on, but this is being fought at a terrific pace and in a wonderful spirit. Uppercut success once more, then a long straight shot launch by Irvin. Beautiful counter left. Sagaluyev came, for came forward. What an action-packed round we have just had in the 49 kilogram light flyweight gold medal bout. Terrific stuff from both boxers. Legendary Alexander Lebziak giving the instructions over in the Russian corner.
Olympic champion at light heavyweight in Sydney 2000. But look at this action being produced by both of these men in their pursuit for European Games gold. And Irvin has tied it up for Judge C, but the judges A and B favoring the work of Sagaluyev once again. So it's all square on the card of Judge C as we prepare to enter the third and final round. Brendan Irvin, if he hopes to occupy top spot, has got to let it all hang out and leave it all in the boxing ring. This man has the advantage. The type of tactics that produced from both in the third round. So the third and final round is underway in the men's 49 kilogram light flyweight gold medal bout. The boxer in blue took the opening round unanimously. He took the round for two judges, judges A and B in the second, which means Irvin has tied it up on the card of judge C, but he's trailing by two rounds, two points on the cards of judges A and B. Really got to go for it now. Good counter right hand from Irvin. Responds immediately with the right jab from Sagaluyev. Good work to the body from Irvin. Then brought it up through the middle as well. Sagaluyev can afford to be a pa can afford to be patient because remember he leads by two points on the cards of judges A and B. So this means it's got to be a massive round by Brendan Irvin if he hopes to overturn turn that two point deficit on those two particular cards. Remaining in pursuit of his man, Sagaluyev, intelligently on the back foot and waiting. Irvin remains hot in pursuit. Sagaluyev ties him up and prevents him from working away. We're approaching the midpoint of this third and final round. And Brendan Irvin stalking his man, continually walking him down, trying to close the distance, not recklessly, but behind intelligent boxing. But Sagaluyev is a very good counter puncher and he picked him off with a left hand there. He's also a very good mover with terrific footwork and he's refusing to stay still. Again, claims his man to prevent Irvin from working away. The clock is in favor of the man in blue. There's no onus on him to engage in a firefight. But he's not averse to doing so as he's demonstrating here. But Irvin admirable commitment still continuing to come forward behind a jab trying to land his own offense but he needs offense without reply if he's to produce the 10-8 rounds that he needs to make things interesting on the scorecards of judges A and B Sagaluyev still reminding Irvin that he's a live contender in this round even though he has a two-round advantage on two of the judges tallies Irvin's engine is terrific and he used that to terrific effect yesterday to outpoint the Ukrainian dynamo, Dmitro Zamotoyev. Good right hand by Irvin, but he needs to keep on punching, keep on pressuring. Preferably from his point of view without taking punches in reply. But the, the conditioning of Sagaluyev is equally impressive. He's showing known signs of wilting as the Ukrainian boxer did yesterday in the face of this incessant assault. Irvin turned to look at the referee, good two-punch salvo from the man in blue, and it's a furious exchange to conclude the third and final round between two skillful young boxers. Irvin raises his arms and skips around the boxing ring, but given the two-point advantage this man enjoyed going into the third and final round, one suspects that he will have done enough to claim European Games gold, but that is not for a want of trying from 19-year-old Brendan Irvin who boxed brilliantly throughout the course of the tournament and dug deep once again here. Has he done enough to overturn that two-round deficit he faced going into the third and final round on the scorecards of judges A and B? A silent prayer to the heavens as he awaits the final formal announcement that would declare the European Games champion. <laughs> Kişiler arasında 108 derecesinde final görüşün galibi ve Batı 2015 Avrupa oyunlarının şampiyonu. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the final in men's 46, 49 kilogram light flyweight category and the European Games champion by speed decision.
in blue corner Bato Sagaluyev. This pocket battleship of a boxer from Russia has just claimed European Games gold, courtesy of a split decision victory over Ireland's Brendan Irving. The 19-year-old acknowledging the support he's receiving from the crowd. And again, his fighting spirit evident there because he took the third round across the board. But that meant he only won it for Judge C, Judges A and B, having Sagaluyev winning by one, courtesy of the two-round advantage he secured. Bator Sagaluyev is the European Games gold medalist in the 49-kilogram light flyweight division. Brendan Irving claims silver for Ireland, and it's a brilliant silver. And really, one ought to make a note of the name for this young man, because one suspects he's going to have a very bright future in Olympic boxing circles. Incidentally, the 49-kilogram weight class is already occupied for Rio 2016. Paddy Barnes secured that via World Series boxing. But by claiming silver, Brendan Irvin has just punched himself a ticket to the World Championships. If he were to go there and do well, then the Irish Boxing Federation would be spoilt for choice as to who they would send to Rio 2016. So Bator Stagaluyev claims the gold, Brendan Irvin the silver. Those, your top two finishers on the medal podium, the 49 kilogram light flyweight division.